JP back again, fixing to put another axis deer together. This particular one belongs to my cameraman. Been setting up a little while, but we're gonna put it together today. First of all, I put the cape on the mannequin and then come back and stick the horns down on the mannequin. Got one more pilot hole to drill. Make sure these big old heavy horns stay on here. Then we're gonna sew him up. Set that in there and that eye looks right at you. You can't see the pupil, but I can. Okay, I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna set these eyes here just a little bit deeper. I don't know if you've ever sat and watched a deer and, or an axis or coming into a feeder and there's other prospects around and they all are aggressive. It's kind of a deal when they suck their ears back behind them, their eyes go farther in because for fighting, whenever they're fighting, they don't have their eyes poked plumb out for one reason because saving them from horn clips nicking them in the eye with your with her with the other deer's horns like i say i've sat and watched them for hours and hours in a bow stand put a little clay around there where they won't look small I want him to look real aggressive and big take a little h2o rub this in get my little scoping tool here A little water. Yeah, he's gonna look mean. I'm excited for you, brother. It's like Barry, the the axis over there that we did yesterday. Boy, he's so pumped. He said, is he ready? Can I come and get him? There he is right there, looking right at you. Look at them eyes, they look aggressive. I got them fat, sunk in like he's mad. When I get his ears and stuff set, I'll suck his ears back to where he'll be looking like a whitetail coming in to fight. As you see, I've got Bondo here that I, I set the, the horns on the mannequin with Bondo and I just leave a little bit right here where my horn burrs are, where I can set my horn burr pedestals up, the skin, and it just shapes the back of the head like a crown. Then all the, in the front here, skin will go all the way up and we'll just shape it like the crown of his head. Just put a little, just a little bitty skim on top of that, that Bondo where it'll be slick. And right in here on these, right here at the bottom of this horn bear, take, just fill that in. You know, back in the old days, people used to use clay to put up here. There's been so many different techniques that people have. Now, we'll let this dry. This is gonna be a pretty axis. My cameraman, Steven Spielberg over here, he'll fire me if he don't look good. Getting back to the axis, I take clay and I put it right at the base of an axis deer pedestal. Just put a little bit around there like that and put some right here like so. Come around here, put me some right there. It's what this does is this holds the hair up around the horn pedestal and it doesn't let it drop. It doesn't let it sink in. It keeps it the width of your horn burr. That right there, it keeps it out where it travels. Whenever I bring him back alive, and it'll just, it goes right around that horn burr like that right there, and it stays up instead of sinking in. You can see how it does right there like that. We'll do the other side, same way. Steven Spielberg's standing there watching me. He wants his axis deer, I don't blame him. Also people, if you got an old set of horns and you do want him mounted, if he's an old deer, five or six years old, give me a call, 325-660-3217. I'll give you a cape for nothing. I charge 695 and I'll get you deer, maybe one that your kid, kid killed five or six years ago. Shoot me a text or give me a call and let me look at the horns and I can judge him by what size uh, what size cape that I'll need for him. So we'll get, get him on. It's my passion. <clears throat> Put me a little 
liquid nail back here in the back for whenever I start mashing my clay up. It'll come up with it. Put a little right in here. One thing about one of my capes that I put on a deer, I use liquid nail. It won't drum and it won't come off. If you ever want to tear the cape off, you'll have to cut it off in pieces. It won't come off. So now we are fixing to get into the sewing part. Sometime you'll run across a place that when you put the clay to your horn burrs, sometime it'll slip down with the glue and uh, I'll just take and put another little piece right in here. Push it up close to that horn burr and I'll just shape it right in there to where it'll do that just like that. Time out for a hand wash. Now that we got him all sewed up, I'll uh, pull his skin down over him, get it all lined up. I usually just use a, let me get this out of the way from you, use a big needle, big sewing needle, hook that skin in there. As I say, this has got liquid nail all the way around, all the way down, even on the back side of the mannequin, it's got liquid nail. It will not come loose. Um, let me turn him around where you can see him. Just keep on pulling this down. We about got her, we about got her home now. All right, let me see if we can find a staple gun here. We'll start with him. Sure gonna look nice So I like to get all the rubbed out on him, get all the tone in him before I start stapling. So now we're ready to staple. So we're at Long Time Taxidermy today. We just finished up. This is my animal. I'm the camera guy. What JP calls me is Steven Spielberg. So this is my animal here. $6.95 is the price. Um, if you guys want to stop by, I got this animal back in two weeks, which is very good turnaround time. Great guys, or great guy here at uh, Long Time Taxidermy. If you guys want to stop by, I'll leave everything down in the description. All the info you can, uh, go and check them out. Call them, bring your deer in their shop. And he does have capes. So if you have an older deer that maybe the cape has gone bad, or something he said he'll cover it in the price on an axis so bring your deer in to long time taxidermy i got my deer here done here you guys can too yeah that's it we'll see you guys on another episode